Welcome to Nevertheless Podcast with Bidemi Makmodi, a show dedicated to organic leaders and leaderpreneurs. Today, you would learn how to discover your essence and live more powerfully. Hello and welcome to another month. My name is Adeshawa Greg Godara and I'm excited to welcome you once again to the Nevertheless Show with Bidemi Makmoidi. We're excited to have been bringing you amazing episodes. Thank you so much for your feedbacks. Thank you for following on social media. If you're not following yet and you just stumbled on this podcast, you want to go to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to follow Bidemi Makmoidi right away. I'm not alone in the studio. I am with a very inspiring Bidemi <laughs> Makmoidi. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Nevertheless, a show to, for organic leaders and leaderpreneurs. It's um, an honor and a privilege to be alive and to be able to bring you this month's episodes. Thank you for, again, like Adisha has said, for following. Thank you for the feedback. And most importantly, thank you for learning and making the investment to improve yourself. Welcome. This promises to be a great show this week and through this month. Blessings to you. Um, So I don't know if you've noticed, whenever it's the month of March, everybody says it's time to march forward. Really? (laughs) (laughs) There's usually this. Um, thing that we're in the month of March and so it's time to march forward and honestly this is just to put it out there we did not plan it like this so we're having this conversation on pursuit in this month in the five episodes that we're going to be having and I think that it's a, it's an episode we should uh, um, this, a topic a rather yes it's, it's, a, it's an, it's an um, important series in this time um, someone called me the other day and said when something is not pursuing something, something is pursuing something. <laughs> and it made me think, okay, it means that if you're not actively in pursuit, something will definitely be pursuing you. And so in this episode today, we're going to be talking about what is pursuit. And so I want to ask BMM right now, what is pursuit? Hey, um, is the pursuit series, yes. And indeed, um, pursuit is, I think that everyone's life is captured in one form of pursuit or the order and then um, to be actually be truthful i do not think that uh, there's anyone on earth who is in pursuing something you may not be pursuing the right thing but you are in pursuit of something so um it's not that there is anyone who if he's not pursuing something something is definitely in pursuit of them every one of us is in pursuit of something so this series is not to encourage you to pursue something rather this series is to help you understand and discern and determine whether you are in pursuit of the right thing. The question I was asked is what is pursuit? What is pursuit? Um, if you look at the dictionary, it will say to you that pursuit is the act of going after something mm. with the objective of achieving a predetermined goal. The act, A-C-T, of going after something with the objective of achieving a predetermined goal. For the purposes of this series, that, um, we would define pursuit as something that has the overwhelming capacity to consume you. Something you can call your life work. A goal that has the overwhelming capacity to consume you, takes over your life, and it becomes what you're focused on. Everything you do every single day is um, lived in accordance to that thing that consumes you. In some circles, they'll talk to you about a passion Mm. that has overtaken your life. So when we talk about pursuit, I want you to see the goal, the thing that has become that one thing that you live for and you are willing to um, die for. In some circles, again, they will say to you, it's purpose. Mm. But I know that pursuit is um, not as big as purpose, but that's not the conversation for today. Just know that it is the thing that consumes you and you're willing to live your life for mm. every single day and die for if need be. Wow. Ah, so as you're defining that, what's standing out for me is the importance of critical thinking mm-hmm. and being actively involved in your life. Yes. Because you've just said that it's not that uh, one person, something is not pursu- something is pursuing you or, 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 or sort of. It is that you need to sit down 
and begin to say, what exactly am I doing with my life? What exactly should I be looking towards? What exactly should be driving and shaping my motives, my intentions, and my actions, if I'm correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, I don't know about um, anyone else, but I know that I came to a point in my life that I realized that I couldn't allow life, the waters of life, to just take me along with the tide mm. Mm. i couldn't continue to flow with the tide mm. there had to be some level of intentionality in my life to determine where i was headed and so when you say oh it's not um um it's not that you are just you know yes i understand it because you must be clear there is a deliberateness that is required when you are in pursuit of something that mm. matters. Mm. So when, what we're looking at again today is a step back, a deliberate sit down with yourself to determine what will I allow to be the overwhelming, consuming, overriding, borrow me some other words, <laughs> that um, drive. drive and passion mm. for the life that I'm living. Mm. Because unless you have had that conversation with yourself, and I call it a predeterminant, then the odds are you will pursue the wrong thing. Right. Or you pursue what someone else wants you to pursue. Mm. So it's not even so much, again, that you are not in pursuit. Is are you pursuing what heaven had ordained for you to pursue? Mm. Because what we're saying is that pursuit in this series is a capture of everything that God put us on earth to be and to become. Mm. So if I'm, God has put me on earth to be something, am I pursuing that, that thing proactively on a daily basis? How are my actions, my inactions, my decisions, or my not non-decisions, yes. yeah, the choices I make and the ones I refuse to make, how are all of that contributing mm. to bring me to what God has called me to be and become? Wow, amazing. Wow, thank you so much, man. I want to ask you, how because this is a conversation of active listening and active doing intentionality mm -hmm. so i want to ask you how do i begin to actively get into the pursuit of my destiny because what you've just explained to me that i'm hearing is a pandemic of pursuit mm. so i'm pursuing something but it could actually not be mine what somebody wants me to pursue or doesn't even add up to the ultimate mm. goal of what god is yes, expecting from yes, my life yes. and so that's already yes. something that we must mm -hmm. we must shake up mm -hmm. like my generation will say we're shaking the tables mm. <laughs> so so here, here's the thing that um I, I'd, I'd like to quickly highlight before I go into that process you are asking for. It is the fact that, yes, you use the expression a pandemic of pursuits. You see, the thing about pursuit is you pursue in season, you can pursue out of season. Mm. So there are many things that make your pursuit worth your while. Mm. And we're saying that we want to live lives that are worth our while and are worth heaven's like a while in the end and to be able to do that that you can't allow your life to have no boundaries mm. you can't have a, allow your life to have no parameters you can't allow all the people who have every you know be the ones that determine for you what your life is supposed to be and how it's supposed to go mm. so if you ask me how do we do this i'll say number one understand that every pursuit will come with disruption Mm. A lot of us don't like disruption, un unfortunately, because we get very used to what it is that um, that we, we are about or what the frame we have or the mold we have formed our frame around right. so that when something is disruptive, we think it is the enemy. Mm. This morning, as I was preparing to come, I saw something that was posted on social media and it said something like, uh, comfort is the enemy of success. Mm comfort is the enemy of success what that simply means is that anyone who is proactively in pursuit of what they should be in pursuit of would have destructions because pursuit is about change mm. pursuit is about enhancement pursuit is about success and those who do it well will recognize that every single day wow. something changes wow. so you need to define your bottom line properly to recognize that every phase of, of your pursuit in fact i think that 
I'm looking at my life. I mean, at the you know, on the threshold of a brand new season, and it seems to me like every time I'm on, I'm on the threshold of a brand new season, disruption will show up. Mm -hmm. You know, things will show up, and I'll begin to ask myself, what's happening here? What's happening here? And my first instinct every single time, never mind that I have lived this cycle maybe at least five times. Mm -hmm. But every single time I get to the end of that cycle and the beginning of a new one, my first instinct is go back. Because I think to myself, this is too much. I won't be able to bear this. I have already formed a system. I had a system that was working. So you need to ask yourself, what are the faces or the process? The process, number one, is to discern. Because how do you determine what you are in the right pursuit or that you are even doing the work properly you need to define properly what pursuit means to you in that definition there is a discernment pro 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 uh, process because if i'm trying to determine whether i'm in pursuit of the right thing then i need to discern what i have been given to make my pursuit easy because every one of us has been resourced by God so that our pursuit will be easy for us. Right. So if I have been resourced by God and I just jump and begin to pursue without determining or uh, discerning with what is within me that will help me uh, make my pursuit a tad easier mm -hmm. or at least effortless effort then what will happen is i would not i would pursue the wrong thing mm. so discernment is critical mm. to discern what it is that you've been endowed with number two you need to discover i usually would um 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 um, um for me discovery is akin to processing mm. because when i know what i have been endowed with discovery is when i begin to know what i have what what i have been endowed with can do mm. because unless i know what what i have been endowed with can do the odds are i will not be able to get it done mm. so that is important step number three is to ask yourself how do i deploy what i have been given what I have been endowed with that I now know what it can do. How do I deploy it? And in answering that question, you want to begin to ask yourself, um, where am I going? Who needs what I have been given? Because remember, now you know what you've been yes. given. Now you know what, what you have been given can do. Yes. Number three is to ask yourself, where will what I have been given make a difference? Right. So that's, I call that the plug-in stage. So you must know where it is required. And then the fourth thing is, I call it demonstration. Demonstration, that means how do I execute? Because just because I have been called, let me use myself as an example, and I have been endowed with words and wisdom. I had to sit down and ask myself, where exactly is my, are the, word, the power of the words that have been given and wisdom required mm -hmm. how am i going to um how am i going to package them mm -hmm. so that they are received at the other end so i decided that well um one of the most important thing to me is to live life for kingdom mm -hmm. so whatever i'm going to be putting out will be wrapped up in my capacity to live life for kingdom now i have asked myself where can this be deployed at some point i thought oh surely it can only be deployed in church right then at other points i realized no that's not quite true because everyone needs wisdom whether they know that they need wisdom or, or not, not. Yeah. i may change the vehicle or i may tweak the vehicle a beat but they all need every one of us requires wisdom so it made me realize that i could plug what i have been endowed with and i am in pursuit of in different ways mm. and when it comes to demonstration i'm sitting there and i'm saying to myself how do i execute this so in some places i know that it's writing that would help it mm -hmm. in other places i know that it is an audio um, audio um, podcast yes. that would work yes. and then we have added video because some people are visual learners yes. even though they hear and they read they mm -hmm. tend to forget but when they see the face and stuff like that they are able to even more um, assimilate yeah, and understand connect. and yeah. connect with yeah. what it is that you are doing yeah. what am I doing I'm looking for execution points mm. demonstration points because it's not enough to just have it mm. 
it must be received at the other end right. for your pursuit to make sense right. that's why i said earlier on that it has to do with bottom line thinking hmm. bottom line thinking is this thing that i have been endowed with that i now know what it can do i know who might need it how do i get it to them in the format that they need wow. because in the end bottom line says i am impactful hmm. yesterday i was talking to a group of people and i said to them no it was on saturday i said at some point in my life and i have gone back to that when my children would say mommy where are you going to i'll say i'm going somewhere to manifest what it meant is whatever I do, whether I'm going to the market today, whether I'm going to the auto shop, whether I'm going to buy water, there are people, my bottom line is people, the potential that I will meet one other person in the course of my journey for mm. that day is very high. Right. And that means that on that trip or on that journey or whatever it is I'm doing in that day, I have a blank slate to be able to impact. Mm. So when I come back home in the evening and I'm doing what I call my reflective thinking, my my, my question is not, um, um, the question I'm trying to answer is not where did I go? The question I'm trying to answer is who did I impact? Mm -hmm. Whose life did I touch today? So you must discern, you must discover, you must deploy mm. and you must demonstrate. Hmm. Because when you pass it through all of this, or you, you use this as a template with which you package your pursuit, hmm. then the odds are you would always hit your bottom line, the goal of your bottom line every time. Wow, amazing. Miriam has said a lot here. We're going to go on a short break right now. And we're going to come back. I'm going to ask, ask BMM two things that I have picked from what she has just shared with us. We'll be right back. In a world filled with many fears and discouragement, life often becomes a burden. For those who know the way, life is just simple. Do not worry, you're not alone on this life's journey, as Bidemi McMordy shares powerful insights and principles from her everyday work and life experiences in her book, Nevertheless. Nevertheless is a book designed to encourage and equip you to face life with courage, hope, and determination. Get a copy of Nevertheless and other books written by Bidemi McMordy, like The Wisdom of the Seed, Honor, The Theology of Work, and so much more from a bookstore nearby or call 080-905-63555 or send an email to bidemi at bidemimacmordy.com to place your order. I guarantee you, you will make it, nevertheless. Bianca has spoken at length. She has spoken about discerning, discovering, demonstrating and deploying don't worry she said she didn't say it in that particular order <laughs> executing this thing that we are in pursuit of as she was speaking two things were coming to her the first thing is that pursuit is a parameter mm. the second thing is that pursuit may not necessarily mean speed no <laughs> because when we check the dictionary meaning of pursuit he says something like chasing mm. and so that you're chasing something doesn't necessarily mean that no. you are speeding up no. something so i want no. you to drill deep into okay, that okay so um you, you used an expression you said pursuit is a is is a parameter by the way welcome back we're too excited <laughs> that we did not say welcome back but i'm sure you know that yes um we we love you and we're grateful that you have kept the faith with us so she said that pursuit is parameter what are parameters for parameters um, bother us they are boundaries they are um they set uh, they set a scope for us so yes pursuit is a scope for our lives mm. it's not about the speed with which we go and i wish many people would listen and hear this mm. and just take the yoke of our own shoulders and our necks and allow ourselves to just go at the space and the speed that we can go because mm. that's what we have been endowed with mm. so pursuit parameters you that's what i know parameters you in that it just shows you you can go this far you can come this far this is what you should be doing with it that's what you should so it makes your journey measurable right it makes your journey measurable you take a look at yourself and you say okay on saturday um, I think I must have spoken to about Saturday. Yes, Saturday I must have spoken to live in live audiences, maybe about 500 people on mm -hmm. Saturday. 
and in that time in in in, in the one that was in person I, I i i need to think i need to remember how many people walked up and say oh this made a difference i wrote this down right. oh and then there are others who came and said oh i've heard you online before and this and that and that so you it, it gives you well, let me say it gives it gave me the opportunity to exhale mm. and say to myself you are doing the work you've been called to do right. now i didn't have to go really fast that day i didn't have to i didn't have five hours to say what i wanted to say mm. i had this short window and my job was to do a great job of it right. i did that and i stepped back it parametered me mm. and in that space i did there was someone else who also had stuff to do i didn't wish i was her right i was just me and what i did was important in that space mm. so it parameters you it gives you a scope within which to live your life that's the first thing you said what was the second <laughs> one the second thing is that it is not speed um i think i already alluded <laughs> to that uh, yes so um just because you are in pursuit of a life in god that has um, giving you the opportunity to be and become does not mean that you have to be fast it also doesn't even mean that you have to be slow right it just means that right. you go at your pace right. and i wasn't even expecting this to come out at this point i thought it would come back come you know it would be something we would drill into later and perhaps we will do that but recognize that your pursuit is about parametering is about allowing yourself get to the point where you know no matter what the pressure is and no matter what people are saying you can tell mm, i'm right where i should be mm -hmm. i'm right where i should be i'm right where i should be mm -hmm. and once you are able to do that it takes away the pressure to be someone else yeah, it takes away perform. the pressure mm -hmm. for performance it takes away the pressure you are your own measuring rod because you take a look at it and you say, no, Bidemi, I need to rise. I need to submit to this process. I need to be able to do better here. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the goal is been predetermined mm -hmm. by God. You are living a script. Do not right. forget. Right. You are living a script. Anytime you step away from that understanding that you are living a script, then you would take on many personals. Uh, 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 every persona you come across that isn't yours mm. but the moment you understand that you are living a script the goal of defining your pursuit mm -hmm. is to determine what the script writer is said wow. that's another way to push it determine what the script writer is said about you and ask yourself if you have what it takes have you done the work of ensuring that what the scripting is being what the scripting is about you you have the capacity to live through mm. because some of us don't and just because it's scripted doesn't mean that you would deliver on that bottom line right so pursuit is how in this season as you are marching forward according to <laughs> a <laughs> as you are marching forward pursuit is that you know what is ahead of you mm. as i sit here and i think about it i think about the children of israel mm. at the edge of the red sea right. at the edge of the red sea the children of israel were on their way to the promised land this is something that had been promised over 800 years before that before that day but they got to the it looked to them like finally we're stepping into that thing mm. and then they got there and they see that oh, there's a red sea in front of them which meant that something was standing between them and their capacity to move forward yeah. yes yeah. and you know it's very instructive that when moses went to god in that particular account and said lord what he said why do you cry to me right. move forward he said mm -hmm. so in stepping forward the red sea parted why would someone step into a sea hmm. just because they want to arrive somewhere because their entire being in that state is to make it to the promised land that was what the script writer has scripted for them Absolutely. and this was the only way if you read it properly in the book of exodus what you will find is that the egyptians were behind them mm -hmm. i didn't think the egyptians behind them was so much about destroying them as it was in parametering them in it was not to not to give them the option of Go returning yeah. that's why the egyptians were right at their heel yeah. and then on this side it was a jungle on this side it was a jungle the only place that looked clear was the sea yeah 
and God said to them, step into the sea. Mm. And the Bible records that the moment they stepped into the sea, the sea divided into two and they could go across. Mm. Mm. I don't think that on the way there was water here, there was water here. I don't think any one of them stopped to fish. Mm. <laughs> it didn't matter what no kind of fish in the they saw in, mm. in the water beside them. I think uh, the Bible did not say anybody was stretching their hands or their hooks or something to catch fish. Why was that so? Mm. Because they had a predetermined goal. Yeah. Yeah. And that predetermined goal was what they were focused on. Mm. So when we're talking about pursuit today, I'm saying we need to step up because some of us started to run. Mm. And we started to chase without doing the groundwork. Mm -hmm. The groundwork is you need to know what has been predetermined for you. Mm -hmm. You need to be clear how you are supposed to run and what you're running after. Mm -hmm. Once you have that together, everything else becomes a process matter. Mm -hmm. And in my experience over the years, what I've found is at every step, mm -hmm. when processing and maybe enhanced processing is required, it always finds a way to manifest mm. and as long as you continue to say yes you'll arrive where you need to go right wow what you just said brought me to the one question i wanted to ask you for somebody who is saying okay the very first thing i mean you, you shared how you have to you know go back and that's when you're talking about discernment mm -hmm. so for somebody who is in that place and it's okay so i want to discern i want to be able to know what my predetermined goal is mm -hmm. how do we help them to discern come to place of discernment well um your easiest and most sure route i think is to buy the dna of purpose cause right that's what i think and and honestly it's not any other reason beyond the fact that i know it will help you but if you ask me again you want to take it through the filter of god's word god's word says that whatever we do must give god glory his word says that whatever we do in our pursuit must benefit mankind whatever we do must build and never break and whatever we do must bring us to the place of fulfillment. Mm. So when you are thinking or asking yourself, how do I do that? The specific things that you are called to do, would you would need to put them through this filter. Take them through this filter. Definitions are important in pursuit. I don't care what else anyone says to me. My life sentence is very clear. I help you become four words. You'll be like, only four words, your entire life captured in four words. That's what it is. But every single day I wake up, it becomes the parameter through which I live. So I know when I'm not helping you become anymore. And I know that I need to step back immediately. Mm -hmm. Because I do not want to transverse the parameters or the boundaries that God is giving to me. Mm -hmm. So ask yourself, does this give God glory? Because if this is a God-ordained pursuit and you ought to go after what God is ordained. And I'm not even trying to get into one spooky place where you can't breathe because you are wondering what is God asking me to pursue. I'm saying in the most basic of terms, whatever we do, we give our time our energy and our resource to mm. must glorify god mm. that's number one then ask yourself who benefits mm. it's like when you were going through the um the discernment the discovery yeah. the deployment and the demonstration process someone must benefit otherwise your pursuit is shallow mm. Wow. Yeah, because if no one is benefiting, why are you what sweating else, exactly? so hard? Mm. So how are you working so hard? The third one is does it break someone? Because if you are in pursuit of something that is breaking another person, you are already living contrary to the way God wants you to live. Mm. You are living outside of purpose. Mm. That is abuse and that is not allowed. Mm. And the fourth one is what brings me fulfillment. Because if you spend 70 years, let's assume you have 70 years, and you spend all 70 years, and in the end you can't say I lived, what was the point? Mm. What was the point? Mm. So fulfillment is also a filter that you want to ensure that you have. In doing this, don't forget, I told you about the predeterminants. So what is it that I'm pursuing? Who exactly scripted this for me? My father, my mother, my husband, my wife, my friends, my neighborhood, my country, the, my nativity. Mm. Exactly how did I get into this? Because unless you answer that, you will keep doing what I call waiting for Godot. Waiting mm. for Godot simply means you are on the edge. In your mind, you are always on the brink and at the edge of something. And you, before you look, you have gone 40, 
50 mm. and you haven't quite Never done do. anything yeah. because you are constantly waiting for something if you have constantly waited for 10 years and nothing has changed mm. shouldn't it tell you that it is time to begin to leave there's no need to wait anymore right. wow 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 this has been an amazing conversation and very reflective indeed mm. because um We've come to the point where we realize that, I mean, for me, this conversation is get conscious. Mm. And like Damon puts it, pay attention. Mm. Pay attention to your pursuit. Pay attention to what God is saying. Pay attention to how you should, you know. In fact, go back, sit down, and discern this thing before you can even discover what's what and you know get to the point of deployment and then demonstration and execution so mm -hmm. thank you so much bmm for this conversation is there anything that yes you'd like to um i'd like to add and maybe we'll explore it in the next episode it's that um our motives matter because just because it's been predetermined does not mean that we have the right motive Mm. Why do you do what you do? Mm. Why do you do what you do? You see, I, I, I'm, I'm really on, I'm, I'm of the opinion that if we lived like this, our life will be easier. Mm. Our lives will be easier. There are many things we would not find ourselves in the pressure for. We won't have pressure point, point, uh, pot, pot moments anymore yeah. because you're just living what I call fluidly. Mm. You're going with what works for you and you're going going well, well after yeah. what works for you so you need to ask yourself why do i do what i do clarify your motive clarify your motive even if you have started and you had started 25 years ago now that we're having the pursuit conversation go back and ask yourself why exactly do i do what i do mm. because it doesn't matter see that that you have gone 25 years does not mean that you can't do a u-turn or you can't take an editor or whatever it is that you need to do so clarify your motive ask yourself why am i doing what i'm doing the other thing is that if you don't clarify your pursuit properly burnouts and crash outs are just waiting because after it, there is only so long you can live in another man's king. Mm. There is only so long you can run the path that is not being ordained to, for you. It's only for so long you can continue to perform in a path that isn't yours. After a while, you just find yourself not able to go on. Mm. And I'm hoping that um, this has helped you. When we come back next week, we'll look at something else about pursuit i don't know whether she wants to let the cat <laughs> out of the bag or we want to wait until next week but it's been an absolute pleasure to bring this your way my name is bdemi mcmordy this has been the nevertheless show and um it's a show where organic leaders come uh, and leader perennials come to be processed and to be equipped i'll see you next time don't forget if you discover your purpose you live powerful and that takes an embracing of the superpower within you. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Nevertheless. For more information and resources, call 08090563555. Don't forget, discovering your purpose helps you live more powerfully.